Well, I have been reading into something that is from John D. Rockefeller's Masonic Creed, and it is highly disturbing. So if you're someone who gets very anxious, um, maybe don't watch this. That's your warning. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's read this together. We will guide them kindly and gently, letting them think they are guiding themselves. We will form an animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. The hate will blind them totally, and never shall they see that. From their conflicts we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger, though images and sounds, we will use all of the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them. <laughs> Especially with everything that we see now and there's so much like people being shut down for sharing truth. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, uh, that we are not alone, that we are all one. This must never know. They must never know that color is an illusion. They must always think they are not equal. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that steal the little freedom they have. Oh my gosh, we've been seeing this so much. It's right in front of our face. Oh my gosh, we will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. When they shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all media. Okay, I, like, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Um, we will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. I, we got to do a part two. It's, I don't have enough time. Oh my gosh. Okay, here is part two to what I found in John D. Rockefeller's Masonic Creed. When they shall rise up against us, we will crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything, for they have no weapons. Hmm, why are they trying to take away our guns? We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have, for they are not of us. The recruits will be called initiates, and we will and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one of us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn this truth, for they will turn against us. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles. This is straight from Satan, you guys. This is straight from the enemy, promising things of the world. They uh, Never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive this light and travel the stars. This, this is demonic. These are fallen angels. They will never reach the higher realms for the killing of their own kind will prevent passage to the realm of enlightenment. This they will never know. The truth will be hidden in their face so close they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. Well, guess what? We're focused and we see it. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know they are our slaves. Oh, we know. When all is in place, the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs, the beliefs we have established from time immemorial. But if they ever find out they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. We're stronger together. 
United we stand, divided we fall, you guys. They must never ever find out what we have done, for if they do, we shall have no place to run, for it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Okay, you guys, Second Corinthians 3. I'm going to put it on the screen. Second Corinthians 3. I guess. Uh. Our actions will have revealed who we are, and they will hunt us down, and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives, for this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood, our blood. We, the ones who from the heaven to earth came. We gotta have a part three. Okay, so here is part three to what I found in John D. Rockefeller's Masonic Creed. This covenant must never, ever be known to exist. It must never, ever be written or spoken of, for it is the consciousness it will spawn will release the fury of the prime creator, God, Elohim, upon us, and we shall be cast to the depths from whence we came and remain there until the end of time and infinity itself. We shall be cast to the depths from whence we came. Now, I don't know about you, but that sure sounds like Satan and his workers. Demons. That is who runs, well, basically everything. If you look a little bit more into John D. Rockefeller, you're going to find out some stuff. This guy is involved in basically everything that we know today between our our Federal Reserve, our banking system, everything. And even the things that you get, you know, in, in, you know, inside, all of it, all of it. He's involved, involved in all of it. Listen, you, you follow the money, you find the truth. And that is what we're doing. Some people call it rabbit holes. I just call it finding the truth. So if you have liked this little series and these holes are going down, then then like and follow for more and I will keep diving and doing research for you guys so we can talk about this stuff.